Hi guys, it's Jamie with Not Too Shabby. Welcome to our inspiration hop for our stamp and die of the month. This cute little stamp is called Pick Me Up. I absolutely love it. This stamp is gonna take you through fall and the winter season. We've got this cute little pickup truck that has like a license plate area where you can add these little sentiments. Winter wishes, autumn wishes, happy holidays, happy fall, thank you. And there's also a cute little sentiment that says, I thought you could use a little pick me up. I absolutely love that. So for the die, it's gonna cut out those trees, those gorgeous trees, the two pickup trucks, the larger sentiment, and then the little um, die that you see inside the truck area, you're gonna snip that away. That will cut out your smaller sentiments. So you can pop that up on the truck if you want to or just use it as a sentiment strip. So I'm gonna do some Copic coloring. I'm gonna play music during the coloring. I'm gonna make a fabulous background with those trees. Um, so stay tuned for that. They turned out absolutely gorgeous. Um, for this hop, you're gonna click on the hashtag N2S Pick Me Up. That will bring up all the videos in this hop. You can hop to each one, leave a comment, like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe to their channel, show them some YouTube love. Um, they created wonderful projects for you guys, so I hope you guys get inspiration for the Stamp and Die of the Month. And to join the club, there'll be a link in the description box. You can head on over there. Um, choose monthly if you wanna join the club. There'll be a little drop down menu that says choose your frequency. You're gonna choose monthly and that will get you an 18% discount. And then you'll get a new stamp and die every month. Um, and it'll reserve your spot for next month if you join um, today. And next month's stamp is absolutely adorable. So we do have limited spots open. Um, the stamp of the month is sold out. There are no spots available this month. Um, so maybe next month there'll be a few spots that open up, um, but you could get in on the Stamp and Die of the Month Club right now um, until those spots sell out. So I'll, I'll play the music and I'll meet you back on the other side and we'll finish up the card.
We're gonna do a little bit of water smushing on our ink. I'm using Distress Inks. And what I'm gonna do is just blot on some ink in random places. I picked some fall colors, so that was Spiced Marmalade. This one is the Fired Brick. I'm going to add a little bit of tea dye and rusty hinge. Now if you're worried about your colors um, being transferred onto your ink pads, you can go ahead and smush a color onto a piece of acetate or something and then pick up the ink and put it on your stamp. I'm sure there's other ways of doing it besides this way that I'm doing it. Um, I'm gonna spray this lightly with water, just mist it a little bit to get those colors moving around. So this is gonna be very um, abstract. It's gonna look like watered colored trees. And that's what I want it to look like. We're gonna do a little background of these water colored trees. So I'm going to dry this off and then move my stamp over. Oh, I didn't get it far enough. Okay, so there is my cool tree background. So I'm gonna let that dry. So while that's drying, I'm gonna to put together my little scallop circle. And the paper that I used for this is the hashtag books and coffee paper from the box of the month. And I am just gonna use that as my little anchor for my image. I'm gonna add some foam tape to the back of my truck. I'm gonna stamp out the sentiment. I thought you could use a little pick me up. I'm going to add some peel-off stickers to the edges of my strip. I'm going to use this red color that has gold edging on it. We're going to add our circle right here. Let's see, do we like it better with or without the circle? The circle does cover up a lot of the trees. So we could do the truck just like that. Let's see. Hmm, let's do it without the circle. I think um, the trees are really pretty in the background. I'm just going to line up the bottom of this truck right on the line. I think it looks good right there. And then maybe some four little enamel dots in the corner would look nice. Okay, there is our first card. This is a mini slimline card. For this next card, I'm going to take out some um, tape. Make sure that it's not too sticky. I don't want it to rip my paper. And I'm just going to make a little ground. So I want to do some 
wintry colors this time for the image with the tree. So I'm going to add some black soot and hickory smoke to the bottom for my ground. And I'm going to do the edges with the black soot. And then I'm going to take this off and then add it to the line so I can do my trees. So I'm going to add a lot of snow to the background. So I'm thinking to use like tumbled glass and salvage patina for the trees just to give it like a snowy appearance or a sky appearance. Let's see how this turns out. I misted it with water just a little bit. If an air bubble in the middle there. Okay, that looks pretty cool. And now I'm going to um, do some inking on the sky area. Let's see, I think I want to use tumbled glass. So let me get my blue brush out. And let me pick up some of this ink. And I just want to do this on the edges. I'm going to leave the center pretty white. I think I want to do a little bit, maybe another little row of trees. So let me just ink up the tops. There we go. there. That's perfect. All right, so we'll add a little bit of white snow to the top of those trees. That's going to go there. We'll add our sentiment in the sky. I'm going to stamp out my sentiment at the top here. I'm going to get out the white Jelly Roll pen and add some snow. And I could do, I could um, flick on some snow with my paintbrush. Um, <clears throat> I probably should have done that and then add some finishing details. Let's add some details to the snow. I'm just going to add um, just some little dots and stuff to the tops of my little 
um, trees here. Just so it looks like we've got some snow going on. And then I think I'm just going to do the flicking with the white gouache. You can use white acrylic paint if you don't have gouache. I'm going to cover up my sentiment because I don't want um, white dots to get on the sentiment. And I'll put some down here so it looks like it's falling onto the... Okay, so all I did was I took some white gouache with water. You could use white acrylic paint if you don't have any. And then you just tap on with a little paintbrush to get those splatters. It makes a great snowy effect. I'm going to add some glue to the back. And I'm going to glue this one straight down to the card. The, night, the blue color from the Fall is Coming collection matches beautifully with that blue. So I think I'm just going to add three little enamel dots. There we go. So that completes card number two. So we have our fall scene with the autumn wishes stamped inside the pickup truck and the beautiful colors of fall in the background. Thought that wood grain paper went nicely with the theme. Then we have our winter version with winter wishes stamped and the beautiful frosty trees in the background. So which one is your favorite, the fall card or the winter card? Um, what's lovely about the stamp set is you can make both um, and use it throughout the winter season. So again, that was our stamp of the month, Pick Me Up, available on the website as a subscription or a one-time purchase. You can join the Stamp of the Month Club and get 18% off and get a new stamp and die delivered to your door every month. And we provide an inspiration hop every month so you'll never run out of ideas. So don't forget to hop to the next creator on this hop. I hope you enjoy it. Good luck on the giveaway and thanks for shopping. Thank you so much and I will catch you in the next video. Bye guys!